Good morning, guys. I am currently in Denmark and on day one of my next adventure. Loke is right over here. Um, we just arrived with the ferry from Norway, um, more specific, uh, Stavanger to Denmark. Um, what else to say? Oh, maybe I should tell where I'm going because <laughs> I haven't said anything about that yet. So this time I am actually waiting for another ferry that's going to take two and a half days to get me to where I'm going, which is Iceland. Ta-da! Most of you probably already knew that because I've been, um, you know, saying that since the, since the spring. Basically, I've planned this tour for almost a year. Uh, well, planning meaning I know I want to go there. You know, I don't plan my trips at all and I haven't this time either. I've looked at my Google Maps, figured out, you know, places that I want to see, things that I want to do, uh, stuff like that. I've talked with a lot of people who's been there, telling me the things that's worth seeing and stuff. Um, other than that, the weather is going to be the boss of this trip a lot of the time. I mean, I'm used to Norwegian weather shifting quite fast. You know, it can be sun one moment and then cloudy and, and rainy the next. But I've heard that Iceland is like extreme regarding this. And the weather forecast is not, you know, you can't predict more than maximum like six hours at a time. So. The last couple of days when I've looked at the weather forecast, it's been between 5 and 10 degrees. So, I, yeah, I definitely packed my heated jacket from winter heat and stuff this time as well. Got a lot of uh, warm base layers with me and yeah, I think I'm quite, quite well prepared. I'm going to camp as much as possible, but if it's really cold, then I'm not going to bother. Um, it's getting quite late uh, outside of the tourist season, so I don't think it's going to be a problem finding places to stay uh, at the campings or hotels and cabins and stuff. Um, and I don't think it's that late in the season that um, those places have closed yet. I hope not. This trip is lasting for three weeks. Uh, it's now the 27th of August and I will be back here in Denmark, which is on the 17th of September and then go back to Norway after that. Probably the last trip of the season, which is kind of sad, but I'm just gonna yeah, enjoy the most of it. Um, it's right now about 8.30 in the morning and the uh, next ferry or the boat doesn't leave until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm just gonna hang out here, chill. I know there's like an aquarium or something, Oceanarium, I think it's called, down here with like fishies and stuff like that. Grab a coffee. Yeah, just chill before, before the long days on the boat. Um, we'll see. I guess uh, I'll see you on Iceland. Lane number four, five, and six must be here then. I guess. Fifteen? Okay, thank you. Fifteen. Lane fifteen. It's quite a few bikers, there's a lot more than I thought it would be actually. I thought maybe the tourist season was over, but I guess I'm wrong.
slippery that is. But we're fine. The time is finally come. Uh, it's about 30 minutes until we arrive in Iceland. I'm not going to even try to pronounce the name of the city we are arriving in. Um, it's right now about 8.30 in the morning, Icelandic time, which is about two hours different from uh, Norway. I think Norway is two hours in front. So Anyway, it's about time to get off this ferry. I just need to pack up the rest of my uh, stuff here, and then I'm pretty much good to go. First thing I'm going to do is try to find somewhere to um, fuel up my bike and my uh, spare can of, um, of fuel, which I brought with me. <sighs> yeah, let's get ready. I'm so freaking ready for this. Let's go! This is a little weird to ride on. Okay, very good. Getting out of here. Can you see the sun, people? Oh my god. Look at this. Alright, so I'm right now on my way to Egilstadur which is the closest city to Seydafjord or something the name of the city where we arrived in the boat there I will first stop to get some fuel like I said and hopefully you know, shake off some tourists maybe and yeah hopefully many of them are going south because I'm going north um, I got some advice from a couple of Icelandic people that uh, have contacted me on Instagram and some people that I have contacted and uh, they say that north is supposed to be really nice this week maybe up to 20 degrees as you can see already it's 20 degrees which is I didn't think that happened on Iceland pretty much this time of year but you know I guess I'm lucky with the weather for once actually let's not say anything about that before I continue this trip because we're only 30 minutes in it. <laughs> I'm guessing that's yeah, you can start it. We can see down there. Oh. Oops. I brought this two and a half liters of spare fuel thingy with me. Hopefully not gonna have to need it, but it's good to have. Alright, so we got fuel and we got food and water. Now let's get on a road. So first we're going to Burgarfjordur Eistir or something something. Mm, should be 
about an hour ride. So we'll see. Ooh. States. Now let's head out of here. Entering our first gravel road, and it looks like quite loose gravel. Not sure we managed, but just gotta put the off road mode on and let's see what this is like. Oh, fucking hell, that is loose as shit, yeah. Hopefully, it's not gonna be like that. Okay, that would be not very fun. Just give gas and we'll be fine. I'm spoiled with the Norwegian gravel roads. And they are smooth as a baby's butt. Almost like asphalt. But not like this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just gets worse. Woo. It's like sand. It's like gravel but sand, sort of. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know anything. That's yeah, quite the start. Gas is the solution. Or something like that. This is apparently a pretty small city. Um, there's supposed to be very few people living here um, year round, and during winter it gets kind of isolated, is what I've heard. Oh, yeah, the puffins. You can see the puffins from here when it's season. I'm not sure if it's puffin season right now. Right now it is 30th of August. Iceland just really delivers from day one, doesn't it? Oh. oh, look at that in the house. So, this is supposed to be ugh, a place where you can see the puffins, these little things. I think it's too late in the season. Probably. There's a lot of seagulls and stuff here, but no, no puffins. But look at this view. Oh, it's better than puffins, isn't it, anyway? Mountains and oceans and cliffs and, yeah. <sighs> perfect, perfect.
is absolutely insane, guys. Everything I would imagine from day one, like literally first hour. What is going on there? Are there watering the boat? sand and rocks to like settle better straight into those clouds over there when there's blue skies behind me So this might be shocking to you. I have ridden in the wrong direction. If you're new to this channel, uh, that happens approximately at least once, maybe twice per day. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm happy to where it got me. It's really nice here. It's almost five o'clock in the afternoon now, so I think I'm gonna turn around and uh, ride towards the guest house where I, I think I will, I'll be camping because as long as the weather is just as okay as it was earlier. Do I have everything? Yeah. Wallet, phone. Alright, I'm good. Alright, let's ride back again. Sure, um, uh, wild camping is not allowed in Iceland, so camping spots will have to do. 